the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, I've had all a bunch of uh, stem cells shot into my shoulder that healed it up. But I had some pretty significant shoulder injuries. Yeah. Like, you did you did the labrum surgery, ro- no, rotator cuff? Nothing? No surgery. I put out a full-length rotator cuff tear. Oh, okay. And they used exosomes, and it was gone. The next MRI I had, the, the tear was gone. Yeah. Just, it goes, it just seals up. They did exosomes with platelet-rich plasma, and they mix it together and shoot it into the injury. And uh, I went through the rehab, and then I got another MR, MRI like six months later, eight months later, whatever it was. When it started feeling good, they said, well, let's take a look at it. And they were like, holy shit. Like Dr. Roddy McGee from Vegas, who does yeah. a lot of the UFC stuff, he goes, do you know how crazy that is? He's like, your tear is gone. It doesn't exist anymore. That's, I got to see that. That's yeah. like fucking next level shit. Why don't they offer that to us when we have fucked up injuries? I'm like, my neck, my back, like... Wouldn't that help if you? Well, I mean, if they really think that you need it, and they, I don't know if they know that you have this injury. Like maybe you have to ask for it. I but I feel like if you you were one of your top guys, you would want us to be back healthy and as best as we can possibly be. Right. It's it's not prohibitively expensive for the UFC either. If you uh, talk to Doctor Davidson or uh, Doctor, I mean, I'll connect you with Doctor McGee. Yeah. yeah, no, they were t- when I, when the last time shit. I was with McGee. Yeah, he's got the good shit. But he's uh, Dr. Roddy McGee in Vegas is always at the cutting edge. He's that guy is like every time I talk to him, he, there's a, some new thing that's going yeah. on. There's new stuff now called Wharton's jelly that is uh, even more powerful than any of the, the previous stem cell ones. And I had that shit shot into my shoulder too. And that's all in the States? All in the States, yeah. Because stuff in the States now is way more potent than it was just five years ago. Okay. Cause I heard, way more. You had a guest on, and they were talking about going to- Dr. Neil Reardon. Yeah. Panama. Panama. They, yeah. They're on another level down in Panama. I sent my mom down there. Yeah. My mom has a, a pretty bad knee, and it sent it down there. And it, it helped it, but she's going to go down again. It's uh, it's heavy shit, man. They can they do IV stem cells too. They do a, a gang of shit down there. Yeah. So so let me ask you. So what exactly does it help? Does it help with like regenerate soft tissue? So like, would that be like a tendon, yes. a ligament, tendons, ligaments, muscle injuries, things along those lines? They can regenerate wow. ligaments, regenerate tissue, tears. You know, like uh, stuff where you ordinarily would have to get things sewn up. Like here's a perfect example. My friend John, his wife had a, a labrum tear. So she had a tear in the labrum of her hip. Yeah. And uh, the, the doctor was saying, like, most likely we're going to have to fix this. It's going to be a big deal. It's going to be like it's months fun- yeah. off your feet. Like you have to, you can't put any weight on it for I think like six to eight weeks or something like that. Well, she got exosomes shot in there. And then when they went in for the second MRI, there's nothing. No injury. Gone. That's freaky. Freaky. So she had a little bit of a deformity in the bone of her hip that was causing an irritation against the labrum. They s- sanded down that part of the hip that was kind of bothering her. They they like cut away the part of the bone that's uh, intruding on the labrum so that yeah. it clears the path. So it was not that invasive a surgery. And then six weeks later, she's good to go. I mean, she's rehabbing and everything. And she's still like, they still had to cut her open a little bit. Yeah. But the big one was the labrum tear and yeah. all that was fixed. 